wise ass question. Why the base? Well, that question implies that there would be a reason why not the base. <clears throat> like, it only has four strings. Or, it's more painful to play than a guitar. Alright, why the bass? Well, I come from a tiny little town up in New Hampshire. And, um, there was a band that I really wanted to join when I was about 14. Um, but the thing is, is they already had two guitar players. And, um, so I was a, I was a guitar player at that point. And they said, well, we don't need a guitar player, but we need a bass player. And if you try it, we have a bass you can use. So I tried it. And I absolutely loved it and stuck with it. Still keep up with guitar playing, but, you know, my role in the band is definitely bass. And um, it's a good instrument for me because I have, uh, I can count really good in my head. You know, I can feel 16 bars go by. I don't even have to count. And uh, I gravitate toward the, uh, the, the rhythmic aspect anyway, so it works really well. Plus, I'm tall, and the tall guys usually have to stand in the back. So for me, that's next to the drums. So I want to play an instrument that goes good with drums. Hence, the bass. Tom, what's your favorite bass song, Aerosmith or otherwise? Well, you know, I'll, uh, you know, I hate to give the usual answer, but I'm going to plug Sweet Emotion here. Because um, I wrote it on the bass, and um, a lot of people didn't know that you could write a song on the bass guitar, but you can or at least you can get one started. So that's um, it's one of my favorite Aerosmith songs to play bass-wise. Uh, as far as someone else, um, I used to love playing, uh, when we first started, before we had our own songs, we used to play some Led Zeppelin songs. And uh, Immigrant Song was a really fun song to play and really, really hard. Um, what else? Yeah, that, yeah, it's got a lot of really fast notes, and you have to skip strings, and it's good. What else? There's another Zeppelin song. Uh, Communications Breakdown. That's a real fun song to play on the bass. And uh, a Beatles song called Lady Madonna. And the, the reason I like that one is because I have a warm memory of my brother teaching it to me. And... Um, I was probably 13 or 14, and um, so he taught me the song, and it was, I didn't just learn that song, but by learning that bass part, I learned a lot about McCartney and about bass in general, and, you know, good ways to put bass parts together. So, oh yeah, the, uh, well, somebody mentions, he mentions, uh, is it a he? Maybe. Uh, James Brown songs. We used to play some James Brown songs. And those were really fun to play because they're really percussive. They're really mostly about the rhythm and the punch and the marriage between the kick drum and the bass and uh, getting people to move. And so those kind of songs are really fun. Uh, 